So on March 4th, we have the fight between David Hay and Tony Bellew at heavyweight. Tony Bellew, who is the WBC Cruiserweight Champion, is moving up to fight David Hay. There's a lot of animosity in this fight. Like, this is the reason why this fight is happening, because both guys don't like each other. Both guys both have the reasons for not liking each other. Like, Tony Bellew thinks David Hay's been ripping off the public by fighting guys with padded records, like, splitting mismatches, really, and charging the fans big ticket prices to come and see him, and he just thinks that's wrong, to con the people who come out and see you fight. And David Hay just wants to knock Tony Bellew out. He's sick of him talking. He hates how he talks. He thinks he's a loud mouth, and he just wants to knock him out. So, yeah, on March 4th, this fight should be interesting. Like, most people are saying it's a mismatch. Like, personally, I think if... David Hay lands in the first one, two, three, four rounds, then Tony Bowie's going to sleep and it's going to be an early night for David Hay and he'll be right on his prediction of saying that he'll knock Tony Bowie out early. But if it goes past four rounds, I see the fight being a bit more interesting because David Hay hasn't got the best stamina, he never has, the, never has had the best stamina. Whereas we've seen Tony Bowie go 12 rounds numerous times against numerous opposition against guys like Isaac Chalembo, Nathan Cleverley, Masternak. Like, we know Tony Bell can go 12 rounds if he has to go 12 rounds. And I don't know, I don't see David Hay having that type of engine. Like, he's not that kind of fighter. Like, we saw it a few years back when he fought Vladimir Klitschko. Like, he just got dominated for 12 rounds. Didn't have the fight in him to match Klitschko for 12 rounds. But, I don't know, Tony Bell isn't a natural heavyweight. He was a heavyweight when he was an amateur, but he came to the pros as a light heavyweight and then a few years ago he turned to cruiserweight and he's had a lot more success there, winning a European title and a world title. So yeah, this fight is interesting. I think I'll stick to my prediction of David Hay winning in the first three, four rounds, like knocking Tony Bellew out because Come on, you'd be stupid to think he couldn't do that because he's got a destructive right hand that can just put anyone to sleep out, cruiserweight, heavyweight, like it's just natural power that can just hurt people. Tony Bowie can hit very hard too, not saying he can't, but we see it against Macabu. And if you can get David Hay past four or five rounds and manages to land power shots on him, like we know David Hay hasn't got the best chin in the world. Like he can be hurt in fights. He has been dropped. He's been stopped by Carl Thompson years ago. He was dropped by Mormek about ten years ago. Like it's been a long time since David A's been hurt or dropped, but he can be it can be done. So yeah. So I'm predicting David Hay in four rounds. But if Tony Bell you can get it past them four rounds, then the fight becomes very interesting and one I'll be very interested in seeing how it plays out. So yeah, speedboxing, JM.